Hello and welcome to my SharePoint branding and design video blog. My name is Eric Swenson and you can follow me on Twitter at Eric J. Swenson or on my blog at ericswenson.blogspot.com. In today's session, we'll be covering how to bring back your SharePoint title and description to your SharePoint 2013 sites. Let's get started. In SharePoint 2010, the site title is located here with a hyperlink back to the site. The site description is located here where you are able to change it based on the site. This is what we're going to try to replicate in SharePoint 2013. To change the site title and description in 2013, you would click on the gear icon and then click on site settings. In that site settings, click on the title, description, and logo. Change the title and description. From here, you'll see that the site title for 2013 is located here. However, there is no description. There is a description on the site link in the top navigation located here. As you hover over it, it will then show that description. But this is not very intuitive. Also, another issue is that when you navigate down to a list or a library, that site title gets replaced with the title for that list or library. To add a consistent site title and description for SharePoint 2013, we're going to copy the default SharePoint Seattle master page. We're going to rename it and we're going to reuse it as our own custom master page. In that master page, we're going to add in the site title, add in the site description, add in a hyperlink to the title. We're going to then apply that custom master page to our site and update the title and description to see how it works. First, I would like to show you what my team site looks like by default. You'll see here we have a basic team site title. In the link, there is no description yet. If I go to the document library, you'll see that my team site title gets replaced with the library title. So if I go back to my team site, go under site settings and change the description, hit OK, go back to my team site. You'll notice that as I hover over the team site title here, I have my description. So what we're going to do is we're going to add the description below and move the navigation below as well. So to do that, we're going to then jump over into SharePoint Designer. Once you've opened your site in SharePoint Designer, navigate to the master page. Locate the seattle.master, right click on it, and click on copy. Right click again and click paste. Right click and click on rename so that we can change the name. We're going to check it out. We're going to set it as a default master page and also as the custom master page. We're then going to edit it in advanced mode. From here, to find the location where we're going to add in the custom site title, we're going to do a search for MS Core Page Title. This is the H1 that is the out-of-the-box page title. Within here, I'm going to add in this span. The span includes a custom class name so that we can style it, but also that SharePoint project property uh, for the title of the site. I'll copy that. I'm going to hit return here and paste it here. We're including this in span so that this title will then be next to the other title. We're going to add a space and a dash. And then we're going to include this in its own span. So this SharePoint Ajax Delta page title and title area, we're then going to go down and add the end span right after this. We hit save now. 
go back to our site and hit refresh, you'll see that we have the site title, um, two site titles, but this one is in, um, the one that we've just added. So the next step is to add in the description below it. I'm going to add this div after the H1. You'll see that it's a SharePoint project property, but instead of the property of title, it's a property of description. So I'll copy that, go into designer, find the H1, and then paste it in right after the H1. I'll hit save, go back to my site, hit refresh, and you'll see I have my super awesome site title here. So we could stop here and call it a day, but it seems like there's a lot of congestion up at the top here where we have our navigation, our site titles, our description. Um, if you navigate to the documents, you'll see that we have our site title, then we have our document title. However, it just seems very uh, cluttered up at the top. So I think the next thing we need to do is take this navigation and move it down below the logo. So to do that, what we're going to do is go into SharePoint Designer. We're going to go up above the site title here and we're going to cut out this uh, top navigation control. So it starts from this Ajax Delta, Delta top navigation. We're going to cut this whole section out then we're going to go down to um, right, right above this content row here. We're going to add in uh, a div and we're going to place in our navigation. Um, and here you could add in your custom class so you can style it. Um, if we save that, we go back to our site, hit a refresh you'll see that my navigation is now down, down below. Now, I've added it in a, a, the div right above the content area. So you'll see if I click on um, the ribbon, you'll see that the navigation is always visible. Now, if you wanted the navigation to be um, hidden as part of the ribbon like it is out of the box, what you can do is go back to Designer and take that div that you've just added and actually include it in the div one right below, before that. So now when I hit save, it's now in that main um, ribbon container since this it's inside of this uh, div before the content row. So if I go back to my site now, hit uh, uh, refresh, you'll see that it's a little bit less space now, but when I go to page, you'll see the navigation is now hidden. So you could actually style this to have a certain height. Um, and the reason why it's not showing, it's a little bit of a gap here is because the height of this ribbon has a set height. So if you can include your header to include that height, um, so you can reduce some of the, the size of the title or the logo or that sort of thing, it'll actually flow pretty nicely so that when you click on a page, it actually hides everything all within this uh, height here. You'll also notice that when you do a F5 or when you refresh the page, for a split second you see the team site uh, title and the description. And the reason for that is that there's a feature for the minimal download. And um, to, to read, it actually visibly shows the title and description beforehand. So to actually change that, you can go under Site Settings, under Manage Site Features, and if you scroll down to this minimal download strategy, if you deactivate that, and if I go back to my team site, you'll notice when I do a refresh or I go to the team site, there is no flash or there is no um, anything that will show this. So I can go to all these different areas and um, it's a little bit of a better performance. Uh, it might, maybe the content might um, be a little faster, but there's really nothing much going on in this area. So it actually seems to load uh, a little bit faster. So um, that's just a little bit tr uh, trick there.
So the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a hyperlink to this team site title here um, so that when you click on it, just like the logo and the, the navigation link, it'll bring you back to that, that site. And that's helpful for when you go to a document library and you have your document. Um, you could also click on it to go back to your team site. So it's kind of part of that breadcrumb. So I'm going to go into SharePoint Designer. I'm going to navigate back to where I have my site title here um, under this core page title. So you could search for this MS core page title to get back to here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm, um, there's a little bit of code here where you could add in this SharePoint simple site link. I'm going to add it right before my project uh, property title here. And then I'm going to end it with the um, share, uh, closing out that tag right before the end of that span. And you'll notice here that we have the uh, tilde uh, site collection with a slash. This will actually bring you back to that uh, root level of the site. So if I hit save here and I go back to my site, do a refresh. Now when I hover over this uh, site here, you'll see that I have um, the, uh, the hyperlink. I can click on that, go to my team site. So if I go to, say, example, site contents, and then click on team site, it'll bring me right back to that team site. And it has an actual nice little uh, hyperlink where it tells me what that, um, the name is. So um, for accessibility, it's actually pretty neat. Um, and that's it. Thank you again, and I hope you enjoyed this session. I will be posting all of these uh, code snippets and master pages onto my blog at ericswenson.blogspot.com. Thank you.